Good Dash, Ariana Jiggy, Brittany Cooper, Jivit Gakko, Vista Mom, Gami Kok, Santa Ann, Gili Akhmed, Amjid. Hello, good day. My name is Brittany Cooper. I am Aki Maratham from Santan, Arizona within the Hilly River Indian community. I am 22 years old and the second oldest of four and a first generation college student. I'm currently a senior at the University of Arizona, majoring in psychology and minoring in sociology and American Indian studies. I'm also a member of the Alpha Sigma Alpha sorority at the University of Arizona. I am also a member of the Tucson Native Youth Council. What made me want to retake Native SOAR this semester was to get the full experience of becoming a mentor. I only was able to get a little slight glimpse of what it was like to have a mentee in high school and try to help them out with what it took to get ready for college and how to get help. To be able to get that second chance was something that I'm very grateful for and I'm lucky that the Native Store program was able to figure something out for us to do while COVID was still going on. Though it wasn't the same experience that it was last semester of being able to be in person with our mentees, I was still able to get a full glimpse of what it was like to still be that mentor and that helping hand to two of my own mentees. Being able to do this program was something that I wish that I was able to experience when I was in high school. I feel like if I would have this in my life while I was in high school and getting ready for college that it would be a lot of help to myself and to my family and to others around me to know that I had had someone on the inside figuring out things that I needed questions I need answers to. I'm very lucky to have the two mentees that I had because they were though they weren't both in the same grade level they were both going into different adventures in their lives. One was going to get ready to go to high school while the other was going to get ready to go to college. I'll go into a little bit more details of who my mentees were because they were such an amazing pair that I was able to help out and get to know and I'm really proud of them and I can't wait to see what comes for them. Another thing that I loved about being able to join Native Store again was just to be in the environment. Though we're not in person, we still had that environment that I remember from last semester with everybody just being so comfortable with each other and wanting to get to know each other and though we came from different backgrounds we still had some things to relate to and we would have that time to talk about and just to get to know each other and try to figure out things that we needed answers to and to know that I had this group of people to go to whenever I had some questions or if I just needed to cheer up they were always there to make me smile or make me laugh and I'm very grateful to be a part of this program, especially with this semester. With everything that has going on, I'm really glad that we have this program to go to to try to still be that helping hand and not look at the negative side of how this pandemic is affecting us, but to look on the bright side of things of trying to help the future generation getting ready for college and know that their higher education means a lot and that it's something that is worth going for favorite speakers that we had the honor to engage with were the representatives from RAIN. RAIN is the Raytheon American Indian Network. They talked to us a little bit about what they do and how it connected with higher education for American Indians and it was a really good opportunity to hear them about what they had to go through and see the struggles that they faced are the same struggles that we faced as well. One of the representatives that I got to talk with had shared to us that she had a struggle with being a mom and also being a student and how just by a stroke of chance she was able to get a job that would benefit her and her family. I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to speak one-on-one -on -one with a few of the advisors about the struggles of college and what they had to go through because it's similar to what I'm going through as well and I'm really glad to know that the struggles that I faced earlier on is something that will happen and it's up to you to beat those struggles and to look at the bigger picture and always fight for what you're trying to get yourself into. I had the opportunity of mentoring two young amazing girls named Khalil and Lisa. 
My first mentee I want to introduce you to is Khalil. Khalil is from Zuni, who is a high school senior getting ready for college. The subject field that she was interested in was psychology, which made me really happy because I was able to talk to her about the many things I was able to learn about psychology as being a psych major. From what I learned from Khalil was that she didn't have a specific area she wanted to go into. Rather, she would enjoy exploring the field of psychology and seeing what she liked most and then take it from there. She is not sure of where she wants to go to college yet, but U of A is one of the colleges she had applied to. But she has other choices as well, which is no problem because after meeting her and getting to know a bit more about her, any college would be lucky to have a student like her. Something I asked Khalil what she took from being a part of the program is that she learned not to be too shy and to start being more a part of things and to be more confident in herself. It made me really happy to see that being a part of this program and being able to mentor her in things that she needed help in or just to give her more of a little advice about college once it starts coming around. The thing I took away from Khalil was that she is so passionate in what she wants to do and she is a very hard working even though she seemed shy at first but you could tell with the way she talks about certain things and the way she carries herself she's is determined and hardworking, and I can't wait to see what she does in her future because she will tackle it on like a champ and I'm really rooting for her and what she comes up in the future. My second mentee that I had the honor to meet and mentor is, is Lisa. Lisa is a seventh grader and she is from Many Farms, Arizona on the Navajo Nation. When I first met Lisa, she was really quiet and, and I could tell that she was really nervous in the meeting and she didn't really want to say much. And I had told both of them that um, I had been a very shy person when I was younger and at times I still am, I still see myself as a shy person. I feel like once I said that to them, it kind of really opened them up because after that first meeting, Lisa was more engaged in talking and wanting to get to know more things about college and asking so many questions what made me really happy. And what I learned about Lisa is that she's really into art, dance, and psychology. Those are the three things that are what she's interested in when it comes to college. She doesn't know what specifically she wants to go into once she gets to college, but those are the three things that she is looking forward to being a part of. The one thing I really took from Lisa is that she is adventurous, even though she seems shy at first, but her mind is so creative to the point where she wants to explore the world rather than staying in one place. One of the main things that she would always ask me about was the abroad programs and what it was like to go to college abroad. Though I don't have an experience, I do have friends that have had this opportunity to take and they have told me nothing but great things and that's what I told her. And it's something that I really encouraged her to try out whenever she goes to go to college because there's so much to see out there and, and seeing the type of person that she is, I feel like her going out and exploring is something that really will captivate her in to figuring out what she wants to do with her life. I'm really glad that she is looking outside of the box when it comes to her future. And I can't wait to see what happens. I am so glad that I got the opportunity to mentor both of these girls. It's been so refreshing for me to be able to give these girls a small guidance of what their future will be like once they get into college and into the study field that they desire to explore. I am so glad that I got to meet these girls and I can't wait to see what they have come in their future and I wish them nothing but the best. Being able to have these mentor meetings with them has been such a relief in me and not have to worry about school 24-7. I always had the time of my life mentoring these girls and just being able to talk to them whenever we had their meetings and getting to know them. I'm very honored that I had the opportunity to help them in any way that I could. Again, I want to say thank you to Khalil and Lisa. You girls have such a bright future and I hope that you get to fulfill all the goals that you have for yourselves in your future. I know you both are going to be 
amazing, whether it be in college for you, Khalil, in high school for you, Elisa. I wish you nothing but the best. things that I received as the semester was ending was seeing all the compliments I got from my sorority sisters and from the other students who were really encouraging to me and know that what I'm doing is something right and something good and that I just keep believing in myself so thank you for that. With my classmates I'm really glad I got to meet you. I wish it was in better circumstances but due to COVID it had to be through online but Again, thank you for all the memories. Thank you to the instructors, Myria, Mandy, and Felice. You guys are the best people in the world, and I'm so lucky that I got to spend another semester with you three. And I can't wait to, wait to see you all in the near future, and I wish you all nothing but the best. I hope everyone is staying safe out there. Remember to wear your mask and to always carry around some hand sanitizer with you. I know I always do, and my mom always reminds me. So make sure you're doing that, wash your hands, make sure to so social distance with one another. And I hope that we will return to campus in the near future. Remember to go check out ASOR and all their social medias and do what you can to be a part of it because it's a great opportunity. Bye.